हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक पर्टिकुलरली इन इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री दैट इज हाइड्रोजन यू कैन से इट इज द फर्स्ट मेंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम हाइड्रोजन एंड इट्स प्रिपरेशन प्रॉपर्टीज एंड यूजेस वी विल डिस्कस ऑन टुडे वी नो हाइड्रोजन इज वेरी मच एसेंशियल फॉर इंडस्ट्रियल फ्यूल एंड इट हैज vast application organic chemistry acts as a reducing agent and preparation of organic compounds from conversion of functional groups from aldehyde to alcohol ketone to alcohol so many cases it is used conversion of saturated to unsaturated unsaturated to saturated like this interconversion is mainly uh, deals with addition and that uh, elimination of hydrogen so today now we will discuss that uh, that preparation and properties of dihydrogen that is h2 hydrogen that is you can say it is as h2 in the molecular form it is always exist in h2 hydrogen form h2 molecular form so what are the preparation of hydrogen hydrogen can be prepared when the reacting metals reacts with water either in cold condition or on heating or using steam and strong heating in these three ways you can prepare hydrogen by action of metal with that water metals very reactive metals like sodium potassium reacts with water forming sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas yes. is very important you have to know what any very reactive metal sodium potassium when it reacts with water on a cold condition heating is not required at room temperature it reacts forming sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas is produced similarly zinc with water is required heating at room temperature does not react it reacts on heating forming zinc oxide and hydrogen gas is produced iron compared to sodium and zinc is less reactive that's why it reacts with steam not direct water steam and strong heating strong heating forming ferrosulfuric oxides and hydrogen so these are the main important preparation of hydrogen from metals then we know water when undergo hydrolysis but pure water cannot be hydrolyzed but when acidulated water this is acidulated water water in presence of h plus when undergo hydro electrolysis it produces hydrogen gas oxygen water dissociated into hydrogen water that is called electrolysis the process by which the substance gets dissociated here water gets dissociated into hydrogen oxygen in cathode hydrogen gas is produced and anode oxygen gas is produced here the volume ratio is 2 is to 1 2 is to 1 that is volume ratio volume the volume ratio of hydrogen oxygen produced to water is 2 is to 1 but mass ratio is 1 is to 8 mass ratio is 1 is to 8 but volume ratio is 2 is to 1 that is the important preparation of hydrogen gas then that is industrial methods we can say zinc that is some amphoteric metals metal which has both acidic and uh, basic property reacts with acid and reacts with base that is amphoteric metals like zinc aluminum pb tin like this this metal also reacts with base forming salt forming salt that is zinc reacts with sodium hydroxide forming sodium zincate na2zlo2 and hydrogen gas is produced similarly aluminum metal reacts with base noh also produce sodium metal alumate and hydrogen gas is produced you have to remember this formula sodium zincate sodium metal alumate nao2 and metal also so the xcd acid produce salt and hydrogen gas metals like zinc magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid produce these are we can say it is also one laboratory method of preparation formation of zinc chloride and hydrogen 
Zinc reacts with sulfuric acid product, zinc sulfate and hydrogen, that is also important methods. Another method is when carbon reacts with steam at a very high temperature, very strong heating in presence of catalyst nickel, platinum, then carbon convert to carbon monoxide and hydrogen. This mixture of gas is produced, is called water gas, which is highly essential for the preparation of organic compounds. That is called synthesis gas or syn gas, it is also water gas. Mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen is called water gas. It is prepared from coal. From coal also we can prepare hydrogen gas. Methane when it is strong heating presence of water steam, that is also steam. When methane gas is heated strongly in presence of steam and in presence of nickel catalyst, it will also produce same water gas, CO1, H2, water gas is produced. And another method important is when aqueous sodium chloride solution undergo electrolysis produce hydrogen gas. And along with hydrogen gas, chlorine gas is produced and sodium hydroxide is converted. That's why solution is alkaline in nature. NaCl solution is neutral. But when undergo electrolysis, it produces sodium hydroxide. It is converted to sodium hydroxide. That's why the medium is alkaline. And as it is alkali and chlorine is produced, that is called chloroalkali process. And along with hydrogen gas is produced. Separately, you can prepare this gas separately in the different electrodes. Generally, Cl minus is produced at the anode and hydrogen produced at the cathode. So, this already we have discussed this thing. Okay, so this is about some important methods of preparation of dihydrogen. Okay, now let us discuss the properties of hydrogen gas. We know hydrogen gas is very lightest gas, colorless gas, odorless gas, and tasteless gas. There is no physical appearance, no physical observation of hydrogen, only it is very lightest gas. Generally, we are using hydrogen gas, hydrogen balloon. That when you inflate hydrogen gas in the balloon, then the balloon goes off due to because it is lighter than air. That's why hydrogen is the lightest gas. Then it is also used by that rocket fuel. Hydrogen also used as rocket fuel. Okay. Then what are the properties? Hydrogen when strongly heated, hydrogen gas when very strongly heated about 5000 K. When strongly heated, it is converted to dihydrogen. You see how much strong heat is required. Because hydrogen is the smallest atom, we can say it has a very strong bond dissociation energy. The bond, the dissociation energy, bond dissociation energy of hydrogen is highest among all elements. That's a very high temperature required to convert dihydrogen to atomic hydrogen. Very strong heating is required. Then hydrogen is highly combustible gas, combustible fuel you can say, very sensitive to heat. It is cut fire easily. So hydrogen when bonds in presence of oxygen produce water as a liquid. Water is produced. Along this heat also produces. Strong heat is also high heat is produced. Then some metals also react with hydrogen directly forming hydrides. Metals and non-metals both sodium, hydrogen, the, for that no, heating is not required at room temperature also cases fair forming sodium hydride. Calcium, hydrogen, heat is required because depends upon the activity. So calcium hydride is also produced. Hydrogen and your halogen, it bonds or it may produce in presence of light or heat, you can use produce halides, HX halides. And hydrogen gets with nitrogen at a high temperature and high pressure convert to ammonia. So different types of hydride can produce. Carbon produce hydrocarbon, nitrogen produce ammonia, that is hydrides of nitrogen, hydrides of phosphorus, hydrides of sulfur. Hydrogen, chlor, sulfur produce hydrogen sulfide like this. Different types of hydrides is produced. This is the hydrides of sulfur, hydrides of nitrogen, hydrides of halogen, hydrides of metals 
are converted to corresponding hydrides. But in metal hydrides, hydrogen in minus one state. But in non-metal hydrides, hydrogen in plus one state. It is very important. Here is minus one state. But here is plus one state. In ammonia, it is in plus one state. Okay. Then next property is that is reducing property. Reducing agent. We know that some metallic oxide that is low reactive metal oxides, moderate metal oxides, but reactive metals oxides. When heated in presence of hydrogen, it gets reduced to corresponding metals. Copper oxide to copper, zinc oxide to zinc, lead oxide plus hydrogen or nickel plus Pb plus Sp. Tin oxide plus hydrogen or heating plus tin and hydrogen water. So this is a reducing property of Hydrogen. This is the best, very important reducing agent. It reduces metal oxide to corresponding metals. Then it is also used as a hydrogenation reaction. Hydrogen means addition. That, that is some on saturation to saturation. Alkene to alkene, like this. This is called hydrogenation. Preparation of alkene from alkene. And vegetable oil to ghee. Vegetable oil that is uh, can it is unsaturated compound when it undergo hydrogenation convert to G that is saturated product saturated fat you can say it is a fat that is a vegetable oil to G that is called hydrogenation conversion of vegetable oil oil to G that is vanaspati G also prepared from vegetable oil like your sunflower and uh, that uh, your different types of flour so that oil. Vegetable oil can be converted to ghee. Then very important reaction is that is formulation reaction. You can say hydroformulation. That uh, both formal group formal means aldehyde from CHO aldehyde group is added. How R C double bond C H two when reacts with hydrogen and the carbon monoxide on heating and presence of catalyst. Cobalt carbonyl. This cobalt carbonyl presents on heating. This compound converts to aldehyde, higher aldehyde. You see, it has R C S S two, now it is R C S two C S two, and C H two group is added. It is one new group is produced. New group is added to the double bond unsaturated compound. This is called formulation. This process is called formulation. So convert to what? Double bond compound to aldehyde directly converted to aldehyde in presence of hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and catalyst cobalt carbonyl on heating. This is called formulation. And these are some important chemical properties of hydrogen and preparation of hydrogen. In the next class, we will discuss that the formation of different types of hydrides from hydrogen and their uses. Okay? Thank you all.